The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has for the first time included an outside expert in its inspections of one of the reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials said the spent fuel storage pool in the number four reactor building is strong enough to resist earthquakes. The building was heavily damaged by a hydrogen explosion shortly after the March 11th disaster. TEPCO officials have been examining the storage pool every three months. The pool contains more than 1,500 fuel rods, the most at the plant. TEPCO officials said the latest inspection found that the pool had not tilted. They also said no major change was seen from measurements taken in November in the size of a bump in the western wall believed to have been caused by the blast. TEPCO allowed only one outside expert to join and did not release the name of the person. A section of roof at the Chernobyl nuclear complex has collapsed, prompting workers to evacuate. Ukrainian authorities say no one was injured, and they say there were no leaks of radiation. Officials say a 600-square-meter section partially covered the turbine hall. Workers built it after the nuclear disaster in 1986. It gave way under the weight of heavy snow. Contractors are building a new protective structure to cover the number four reactor about 150 meters away. Foreman for a French construction company pulled out 80 workers as a precaution. Experts are concerned the concrete and metal structure built after the disaster is too old to contain the radiation inside the reactor. John Kerry is just settling into his job as U.S. Secretary of State, but he's wasting no time demonstrating his leadership. Scientists in North Korea staged another underground nuclear test earlier this week. Now Kerry is urging world leaders to mount a strong, credible response. North Korea's nuclear weapons and ballistic missile program are a threat now to the United States of America because of what they are pursuing, specifically, as well as to global security and peace. Kerry says he's also concerned about the nuclear program in Iran. He says Iranian and North Korean officials have cooperated on nuclear development. He says the international community must agree on what he called a swift, clear and strong response to the test. Kerry has reached out to his counterparts in a number of countries. He says he's pushing for new sanctions at the United Nations Security Council.